Hello, hello to all the amazing people. The Nima here with another Library of Ruina video. We are well on our way to collect uh, many, many wonderful pages here before we go to the the reverberation ensemble. Uh, so, in the last video, I figured out that we still have some uh, general invites to do here in the Star of the City. So, we did uh, Yay and uh, Leaflet Workshops, by Art and Irina and Insurance, but now we got three more. We got Uchat, Night Owl and well, once one more and we're gonna do each one of them to check out what cars they can get and see if uh, we need to do multiples. Um, I don't know if Hokma is the best way to go around it though. Maybe we switch it up a little bit. I remember Yasu being uh, quite potent uh, in dealing damage, right? Um, or maybe, or do we just go Gabura and be like, hey, hey. Um, yeah, let's do Yasu. Okay, I'm gonna equip them real fast here, so let's see Nikolai and then let's do Alan and then who else are we using? We are using Xiao, sure, Mir and I, right? We have so many nice pages actually, and then finally the purple, purple tier. And we're gonna hop in. Oh, I have a question for all you lovely people. So once I finish the game, so once I do everything, uh, I'm missing like 30 to 40 Steam achievements. Uh, will I be able to do those after I finish the game? I think, uh, I think it was zero sick and zero, which already told me that I'll be able to, once I do finish these, that I will be able to do everything some more, but uh, Maybe there was some misunderstanding or something. So my question is, once you win, can you still play anything you want here on this uh, wonderful storyline? And yeah, and can you finish all the achievements or are there some specific ones which you can only do have one chance to do? Okay, anyhow, let's uh, go here. We're gonna go and invite some uh, unfortunate people into our domain here. So let's grab a book of index. Mira Life Insurance. Well, that's not really what I want. Let's see. Book of Thumb. There we go. Don Juan. The Great One Fixer. You're gonna be... Oh, hello. Uh, it's a duel. Okay. I wonder. I wonder. Oh, I can't give. Uh, that's pretty bad, actually. Can we win this fight? Uh, considering that uh, we didn't have like improvements, or is it just better to go like somebody who has everything they need? Or should we just use Gebura for this, actually? Who did we lose last time? Was it Gebura? Gebura still has fine holler. We don't have the health holler though. I'll use Gebura. Okay. We might get uh, killed here. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, is that the Gebura music? I think it is, right? 3 6, 3 6. Well, oh, I have the, the Maya the strongest. Uh, well, this will not be much of a uh, much of a fair fight. <laughs> I'm really sorry. It's just not your day, Don Juan. <laughs> and this just shows how much stronger I am now than uh, what I used to be. It's insane. So uh, this one was not trivial last time I did it, and this time it's like, well. You can see it yourself. Oh, look, we got hit there. Whoops, CT, whoops, whoops. That's like... No, big no-no. Whatever. Um... Well, you're not gonna get many books, but maybe we don't have to. Great one fixer, Don Juan. Well... You are grade one, but you're not color material, that's for sure, because that was not even close. Okay, let's see. Uh, that was kind of insane, wasn't it? Oh, wait. 
it's not here. Oh, that's way lower actually. Wait, what? No, it's here. Huh. Uh, so I didn't even have to do it, but that's okay. But wait, wait, wait. Okay. So if we go here. Right. We use the Book of Thump, right? So that is, uh, that is Star of the City. So I'm a little bit confused why is uh, Ujat up here and Don Juan all the way up there, down here. Okay, uh, let's uh, see, let's invite... Well, that makes sense actually. Wait. The other question is, why are these all the way up here then? Ah, okay, <laughs> let's not uh, bother our uh, ourselves with uh, this uh, unimportant things. And let's continue here. So let's grab the top and let's grab a... Um, let's see, Index, Night Owls, yes. That's kind of weird. So Book of Allen, yeah, let's go grab ourselves a Book of Allen here. To see what we get by burning that. Uh, we're gonna go Yesod, right? Yeah, cool. Let's go. Force available random acts. Okay, these are like. These are a bit, bit nasty. Not super crazy though. They're really good with Pierce. They're gonna get plus two power on all of their attacks. Fun times. Okay. So we are not clashing with these because they're really good at clashing. So I'm thinking here we just go vapor. Yeah, we just go vapor and let's go slashing. Here. There we go. Vapor there. So double vapors and then we do a whole bunch of other attacks. Kill it here. Let's see what do we have. Okay, we got another vapor. So we'll go there and you have I can do this. Well, that's our Alan, right? They don't look really much the same, do they? Well, they have the same clothes and the same this white thing, whatever that is. But other than that, nope. Okay, I think usually... Okay, who needs protection? I'd say this one here. I'm gonna play the card draw. Play the true triangle formation and... Uh, one brace and that's gonna be it here okay yeah. okay wonderful no, i'm not sure yeah that's probably not gonna be enough for stagger so i think maybe i should have put more stuff inside there brought the weakness faint yeah i'm getting a little bit you know very much damaged this one's almost staggered. Seize your chance. Through Trigram Formation. I don't remember. Oh, never mind. <laughs> that that's not my character. Oof. It's too bad. More attacks. Nice. So one of them is almost done. And then uh, can jump onto the next one so this one has 20 okay so five here uh too bad for our speed though that's a little bit unfortunate uh, what's that i'm just gonna concentrate through that and then uh, i don't know something like this anyone having vapor no let's see target rose front page okay uh, then let's see. Augury kick. We can do one augury kick here, and then brace. I guess. Okay. What do you have? Well, you do have vapor. So uh, let's see. Let's go there. It's gonna be our next target, I guess. And then Saba needs to. Oh, we have another vapor here. Okay, we're gonna go there, and then we need to go for this one just a tiny little bit here. Okay, we don't have enough cards and stuff. Okay, let's make sure this one is actually out of the equation. Oof. 
Prod the weakness. That's... That's a high roll. That's a high roll, that's for sure. Maybe I should have been concentrating against that. I wasn't really paying attention. I'm still confident that uh, just my superior numbers alone, I'll be probably fine, even though things are not really going ideally here. Yep, we might lose a person. It's okay though. We are way ahead, so should be fine. Raise the grass, there we go. And uh, actually we didn't. Let's see. Uh, after every quick clash wins, restore one light and gain. Uh, let's go lame it here. Who are we gonna give it to? Well, somebody's well, you. Okay, we actually did not finish this one off, really? That's, uh, that's not too good, okay. So we're getting attacked twice by a five and a six. Uh, I think, well, six we can't do anything about. It's probably gonna kill us, right? Yeah, I think so. So we just let both of them go through. Okay. This is nasty. Okay. So I'm gonna restore one light here and gonna play uh, this. Gonna do another true trigram formation. I can go. Uh, there. Okay. Do that. What's that? Okay. Here. Uh, it's mostly fine. Let's try smoke smashing it. So I guess we are like playing a little bit defensive here. Um, things didn't really work out the way we wanted them to. That's okay. We still have numbers advantage, but you know, not really super comfortable like I was until now. But all of a sudden they should only have two people, so... What are these ping 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 things? Probably some kind of... Oh, on my side as well. I have no idea. I mean, it could be somebody's perk, but... Uh, by so many times. Maybe it bugged. Maybe. Yeah, we lose a person here, that's okay. Yeah, we, it's like a potent group and we played greedy, but um, we, they only have two people now, so it's okay. Okay, now let's see. Okay, uh, let's start getting his emotions up. Well, he's already on emotion level 3 though. Okay, that goes there. It's like a fairly defensive card though. And this one goes there. Uh, I'm vapor that one as well. And then... Uh, just go for it, right? I mean, okay, let's do this. So we're gonna do a... Agri kick here. There we go. And then here we're gonna do... Place the grass and finally this tree here. Oh. I'm going to place the grass, sure, let's do that, let's do that, let's do that, I have dagger press as well, hello, and race up I guess, and uh, we can use the dragon, why not, what's the other one, prescript, there we go, wonderful, good, Let's go. Yeah, some more ping. <laughs> I mean, since this is not something we hear on our fights usually, I'm gonna assume it's something to do with Night Owls. But it's weird that it's also like doing it on my attacks, right? That's very unexpected. It's like a pinball machine out here. Uh, 
chained rat. There we go. Regret. I'm not gonna use it anyway, so. Uh, let's see. Okay. So we need to level it up once more. Okay, that's unfortunate, but this one we can grab. Well, actually, let me see something. <laughs> Throw the weakness. Yeah, no, I can't do anything about that. Two more points and then we can do our thing. There you go. I mean, you tried. You really did, but... Uh, now it's time for lights out. Also, you have that problem that usually some enemies do. Where they just don't have enough stuff. Enough dice and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna vapor that thing and then everything else can do whatever. There we go. Nice. True Trigram formation. That was 39 damage. Not bad. Oh, it was staggered, so. Curtain call for the reception of night owls. Okay. Let's see how many books of Alan did we get. Yeah. So Book of Valen is here next to Night House and Ujat will also be like here. I think Ujats actually don't have a boss, right? So we have all the cards here more or less. So we did this just to see what cards they are, but as you can see, Stiletto is like specific to Alan, we already have one, so we can't really use any more anyway. And then, I don't know, Faint. Uh, let's see, uh, there is this card, Prot the Weakness, right? I mean, it costs 3, so it's not really that good. It rolled a lot on one of the attacks, so I was like, wait, what was that? But this, these are good for like building haste if you really want to. But yeah, but, uh, and then we got also a lot of books of uh, Night Owl here for some more of those if you really want them, but you know. Really nothing super special here. Okay, and then finally we have one more invitation here to do, and that's the Ujat. Uh, and so we're gonna invite them. We can use one of these, I guess. And then we can use uh, Rabbit Team. And I don't know. We can use a Rhino. There we go. Yeah, they actually don't have the boss, so. I'm not sure why we're even doing this, but uh, I don't know. Let's just smash some people, I guess. They don't talk too much, do they? So these are like very defensively built. <laughs> Although look at that, 8 to 14, like what? That's kind of... That's a lot. And what are they strong against? Okay. Not slash, that's just good. Okay, let's go. Okay, here we already know what we're gonna do. We're gonna draw a page and then uh, we'll play the trigram. Well, it's probably a good idea to clash with that now. I'll clash with something which has a lot of dice in it. Actually, this is a good clash. There we go. Gonna brace up and let's see another vapor. This time, make, let's make sure we actually remove one of them. Because one of the reasons why the last fight didn't really go super well is because it took me a while to get one of them down. So. This is like a huge overkill, but if you do a huge overkill five scenes in a row, that means the fight is done in five scenes. So. Jump Hadar. It reminds me of Jem Hadar from Deep Space Nine. Was it Deep Space Nine? I think so, right? Or maybe that's something else. Maybe the Jem Hadar were inspired by the real Jem Hadar, which are actually a thing here in our world. Who knows? Anyhow, one of them is down. I'm 
gonna jump onto the next one. And I kind of do like these attacks here, but these are very, very defensive and well, turns out defensive doesn't really work uh, when you have like a million smoke on yourself and stuff like that. So yeah, well, a downside of the strategy I chose is that we're gonna be very low on light for one turn here. However, that's not something I'm super concerned about, so... We're gonna have a better turn next turn, so that's all nice and good. There we go, and there. And let's do a leap, I guess. No, not me. There we go. So, yeah, we didn't clash a lot, so my people didn't reset their emotions. So, for this one, we're not gonna have that many vapors. Well, maybe one, right? Look at them rolls though on Alan there. Quite a baller he is. With that. I think we only fought them once. I wonder if like you could make some good defensive decks out of their cards, like make like a, a Roman Testudo kind of deck. Where you like build like a million protections and uh, be like pretty much untouchable. Okay. Right, let's see, can we defend? Oh, nobody's attacking here. Well, that's. That's just weird. Okay. Next target. Oh, I can go there, I guess. Go there, and then you can go there. Should be more or less fine. Um, you can go there. Where is that going though? Oh, okay. I can do like this, and I can do like that, and then this one, the six, can go into that two there. Good. It all works out. And then somebody has to do 36 damage here, which is, well, not really that small amount. Should be fine though. Vapors. So good. Puffy Brown plus Vapors. One of the better combinations. It also redraws another card. So it has sustain, it has great clashing potential, it has a lot of damage. It gives smoke to both me and my opponents. Oh, hello there. So we started pinging again. So it's a yes of thing then. It's layman, isn't it? No, it's not. Why would it be? It, it might be? I don't know. This one somehow survived, which seems kind of insane to me, but okay. 22 damage. Um, there we go. Uh, let's go defensive here a little bit. Okay, are you getting attacked? Getting attacked twice. You're getting attacked by that thing. Okay, we can just grab that. something uh, let's do that let's grab it with this I guess okay and then I don't know well, this one's actually pretty low 23 only okay well you can grab that and then whatever really let's just click the cards in and gonna win oh really what there and yeah okay well <laughs> that's that good 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 
Of course, they have no leader, so we don't even have to build up the emotion on the last person. Just gonna get a couple of pages here. Mm. So they're like... Uh, I was missing fewer things for this video than I was uh, assuming. Yeah, okay. I think we are done with the Star, star of the City now, so we're gonna go one below was it like urban nightmare or something i don't really remember yo speed it up a little bit Ooh, what was that it's like we are treating the one behind like if it was a boss but it actually isn't look at that five protection no wonder that dude survived he probably had a lot of protection even though he was staggered yeah, because we were using like very weak attacks, so yeah, we didn't go through protection well enough. So I guess you do have to use the um, strong attacks like Vapor and stuff. Look at that. Well, I guess most of the people went for the other one, right? So that's why. Three protection this time. Well, you don't have any more friends to help you out. And then Vapor just go like, yep, minus five damage, but Vapor doesn't care, so... Okay, that was Ujat. So I can burn a couple of those just to check out. Um, no, that one was on top right, yeah. They have like a yellow card, which might be useful sometimes, I guess. Let's see. That's interesting, actually. That's not too bad. It's Ujat exclusive though, so that makes it really bad. Because <laughs> I'm not going to be playing Ujat, or will I? Hmm. You never know. Um, give two protection to all allies. So sometimes this card could be interesting. Imagine if you could play this card every turn on all your characters. Everyone would have 10 protection. Is that possible? I don't know. You would have to play Ujat, which has less dice, so that right away means it's gonna be way harder to play a 3 cost every turn, so... Gain 1 protection next scene. No light gain though. Gain 2 endurance. Furicia. And there we go, Jamhadar. If the natural roll... <laughs> right. What's the chances of that? 1 in 5 or something. Yeah, these are like fairly non consequential, so. Okay. And let's see what else could we invite here. I think we are done here, right? So we go for the Star of the City next. Index proselytes. Yeah, we're gonna do Index proselytes here. Well, wait, wait, these are. Book of the Index Proselyte. I actually think we have quite a few of those. Let's see. So we got Book of the Index. And then we got Index Proselyte somewhere here. Yeah, we get Will of the Prescript from this. Which I kind of like. So we're gonna do this one real fast. And then we're gonna wrap up the video. And then in the next one we're gonna go further down. And see what other goodies we can get. Alright, uh, send invitation. Now let's see how powerful are you guys. Okay, so they do have like... They do have singleton decks, so they might be strong. Mm, I'm not really expecting like something super powerful though. Uh, so we can either go Mirinai or PD here. Uh, Mirinai is kind of... Yeah. It's good, but for short fights, I don't feel like she gets going. Okay, uh, so let's find uh, the PD. Oh, she's already in the proper stance. Uh, wonderful. Oh, these only have one dice. Okay. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Uh, that's really funny, actually. Okay, we're starting to get into the territory that where we hugely overpower everything we're gonna need so maybe we can do one of each now like fights should be relatively like 
fast and easy. Although we'll have some interesting fights, like we're gonna have the Town of Love. <laughs> but yeah, never mind. Three to three. Oh, I want more three to threes just in case, right? So we're gonna definitely do some of those. Yeah, definitely. Look at my group here, humiliating themselves. How long do you need to take care of these low, low grunts? Look. Just RNG. It would be much better if each one uh, attacked the same target, but you know. Sometimes things happen, sometimes they don't. Rhythm, I don't know. Whatever. Should have taken violence, right? Okay. And they're gonna start falling down like flies now, I think. Yep. <clears throat> also depends what cards my people use. If they use like all the vapors on the second round. Well, do they all attack the same person? What was the index thing? Hmm, I don't remember. Do they? Don't they? Oh, that was written. Okay. Uh, payment. To overcome crisis. Well, that's a crisis. That's a big crisis. We're losing people here. Kind of crazy. Who would have guessed that? Well, we didn't really lose it just yet, but it's pretty close. <laughs> ah, the auto combat. Well, it's faster though, so that's why I do it. I shall not allow it though. We cannot lose a person here, that's so humiliating. That's too humiliating even for me. Well, if it was faster, we would not be able to do anything about it though. But yeah, here we are. So we're gonna get some more A Will of the Prescripts here. Wonder how many books we're gonna get. Well, everyone drops it, so... We're gonna get quite a few, I assume. It's a green card, I believe. There we go, Index Proselytes. Mm -mm -mm. Lovely. So, there's Book of the Index. By the way, does Index also drop it? No, they don't. They drop multi slashes though, which um, are nice. Even though I don't use them that much, they're actually really, really good. Okay. So, let's see how many Will of the Prescripts will we get here. It's like 7 in the pack. So, I'm gonna say like 20. Um... So, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, eighteen, I think, nineteen, twenty! Oh, that's like, maybe I miscounted, but that's fine. Okay, so I think we are fine on those. Um... But yeah, that's gonna be it for today, and like tomorrow I'm probably gonna continue inviting down the line. Maybe we can do the whole uh, the whole urban nightmare in one video. Mm. Some of these might be slow, like this one here. <laughs> um, do we even do that though? Well, I wanna do it, so. Crying, uns the crying children, oh yeah. And of course there's the uh, where is it? The puppets. There's the... Oh, here's the love town. Okay. Right. But yeah. <laughs> We're gonna go from both top to bottom, from harder to easier, and like clean up a lot of stuff. Maybe it would be better if I went from bottom to top, actually. Oh, well, whatever works, right? Anyhow, we might do that. We might go from bottom to top next episode. That's gonna be confusing for me though. We should continue where we left off. But anyway, if I miss something in the start of the city or you think I don't have enough of one type of pages, you can let me know in the comments and we can get some more. I really don't know what to expect. So we're gonna do a couple more episodes of grabbing some more pages and cards and uh, yeah, it should be cool. But that's gonna be it for today's, uh, so if you enjoyed it, even though this is a little bit, uh, you know, nonsensical 
killings of people who are way weaker than us maybe some of you enjoy that so if you do like and subscribe in the meantime i wish you all to have a wonderful day do something nice thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next episode the numer signing out bye bye